So we've got a massive cloud that's already formed, you can see, uh, across the country. Now, western parts of South Australia, uh, Tarkul has already picked up 62 millimetres of rain just since 9am yesterday. So a huge amount of rain's already fallen in some western parts of South Australia. There's widespread high clouds spreading through the east. Some of it's a bit thicker. We've got some storms through western parts of Queensland. All right, let's have a look at the map now. And there it is, there's our low pressure system. Now, one of the defining features of this low is its slow movement. It's moving very slowly towards the east. And that means we'll have areas picking up days of rain as opposed to just a few hours. So let's have a detailed look at the forecast rain then. Firstly, just over the next 36 hours, showers and storms spreading through much of central and southern Queensland and then through northern and western parts of New South Wales through tomorrow. All right, we'll keep going then. It gradually moves further east, spreading down to Victoria, to the New South Wales coast by Thursday and continuing for Queensland. And Friday, again, showers and thunderstorms through much of southeast Australia. Gemma. So, Tom, which areas are at the highest risk of flooding this week? Well, let's have a look at the forecast rain over the next four days. So we're looking at 50 to 100 millimetres as an average fall through the central inland of Queensland, the southern inland, down to the northern and central inland of New South Wales. And that darker blue there just showing over 100 millimetres of rain. Now, we all know our catchments are fairly saturated. So the highest risk of flooding over the next four days is through southern Queensland. That's the Condamine, the Boulogne, the McIntyre, and then northern New South Wales. You've got that Namoy, the Peel, the Guida River, that's where it's very likely we'll have major flooding. However, you can see the rain extends right down through the southern Murray Basin. So renewed flooding is also likely, and some of that could be major, through the central west and also the southwest corner of New South Wales, Gemma. And also a high risk of dangerous thunderstorms for much of eastern Australia this week. Yeah, this weather system, it's a little different than some of the weather systems we've had over the last few weeks. I'm going to show you the surface temperature just briefly through the middle part of this week. What you'll notice is, despite the fact we're seeing fairly widespread rain, temperatures are hitting the mid to high 20s through western Queensland and the mid 20s for much of New South Wales. So not only is it very humid, it's quite warm. And therefore, that's the right ingredients for thunderstorms. And we're looking at severe thunderstorms there's a pretty good chance of supercell storms. That's the most dangerous type of thunderstorm and they often bring flash flooding, large hail and damaging to even destructive winds. So there's not just that risk of river flooding, but also flash flooding from storms along with the hail and the wind jammer. And then a second low pressure system then forecasts to bring even more heavy rain from the weekend. And this is a real concern because it's not just that one band of heavy rain, but a second one. It's another low that should form up probably on Saturday around South Australia. And you can see what happens here with the forecast rain. By the time we get to Sunday, you've got heavy falls returning to much of southeast Australia. This system is likely to be slightly further south compared to the first system. So rather than it being Queensland and northern New South Wales, it's more western, southern New South Wales and Victoria where we'll have the heaviest falls. Now that system will probably last till about Tuesday next week. So if we look at the forecast rain over the next eight days, well that is concerning. You've got 50 to 100 through most of eastern Australia, but many areas will see well over 100 millimetres of rain. I would say flood peaks for many rivers will be above what we have seen in the past few weeks to the past few months. And uh, unfortunately that does mean we're looking at further widespread inundation of both rural and urban areas, Gemma. Thanks, Tom.